Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by You Can Call Me Lordy and today we're back on Prey to Hunt Grounds with teaching you mates how to play as the fire team in Prey to Hunt Grounds. Pretty much a tips and tricks and a guide in itself, highlighting how to do fuse bombs and also how to parry as well in the game and many more techniques as a fire team player within this game to use that to your advantage to win those games against those predators. Either way, this will be a fun one. Before we do get into this video, there's only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that are actually subscribed. Leave a like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date, press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So we haven't played Fire Team in such a long time, but I only have like two classes ever at the moment since everything else got reset. We have the Isbel class, which has Amphibious, Isbel character, which is a DLC character, the Sniper Rifle, this pistol, which is godlike, a must-take pistol. If you unlock this pistol, utilize this. Our perks are pretty much a bit of everything with Filter Rats, ACIG, Yao Shibane, and Gearhead. Why do I have all this? It allows her to be more versatile in her gameplay by detecting the Predator with these anti-cloak grenades. Heal herself as she's going in the fray and fighting against the Predator. Yao Shibane gets damage increase against the Yao Cha. And the perk gearhead increases all those gear usages by a couple of points as well, so that's really, really cool. And the sniper long distance shot's always great. And the Phoebe's specialization is just a crazy movement speed perk when you're in the water. You get those benefits and it's so crazy to actually utilize and you get constantly mudded up when you get in contact with water as well. Really, really cool. That is that class for Isabel. This is a class I would usually use if I was playing Fire Team in the most recent months, but I feel like I've been enjoying this class quite a bit. This is actually the wrong one, that's a reset. And it's this one right over here. So we have Dutch 1987, we've got a man Dutch, Arnold looking beautiful. Hang on, if you are watching this, make sure to tweet us, link up with us, highlight us, and we'll most likely play for you a couple games, yeah. Bloodthirsty Lord, aka Lordy, with Arnold. We're gonna make that a thing. <laughs> we have Dutch 1987 with Amphibious as well, followed up by the Hammerhead weapon, the weapon that came with that. Pretty much max attachments, always gonna have the attachments if you've got them unlocked. Utilize them, they'll help you out in your gameplay too. With that Dutch's knife to make it fitting, that same pistol from earlier. It's a single shot pistol, but the way you shoot it, it's quite crazy to get increased damage. You pretty much can shoot each bullet so quickly, one after each other and pretty much hold down and you get those instant damage towards that Predator. Alongside Filled Surrette and Fire Grenades for that explosive damage. Action Hero to reduce the hip fire accuracy of this class. Gear Head and Thick Skin as well to gain more HP. The class is quite extraordinary because you get hip fire damage increase on this class followed up by Mud Damage Resist which will proc off Amphibious as well at the same time. And then with Action Hero giving us increased hip fire accuracy, we do more hip fire damage with this weapon. It's just a crazy combination. I think it's really, really cool to utilize. And that is the synergy of the class. You can use different specialization like Fnatic, which can give you increased damage and speed while wounded. Later, damage targets are weaker to damage from teammates for a short period of time. That usually works as a team more than anything with one leader only, and that leader survives the most. And pretty much activates that one shot, and then everyone sprays the Predator at once. That's pretty much the way it goes. And Reckless gains a temporary damage boost after receiving damage, which is quite fun too. But since the way Amphibious works alongside his passives, I feel like that's a great component to utilize on this character. Let's jump into the match as Dutch and highlight, hopefully, a successful fire team match where we can defuse the bomb, parry, and highlight all the good techniques as a fire team player. Let's get into it. So at this point in the stage of the game, you have mission planning and you see the map that you're on, the mission types that you're actually playing in, and you get to choose a location. So we've got a chosen location as our class, Dutch987, as you see from the bottom left corner. That is the class we're playing. We've got three other players on our team, followed up by a prayer to play as well. So that's the team composition that usually happens, pretty much 4v1, instead of 1v4 like we usually do. And this was in such high demand for us players fire team, us players Dutch on the channel, on our live streams and our videos recently, and how to teach the mates how to play fire team in general. So we had to do it. We had to do it for the mates. I wouldn't play this in my own time as much because I haven't played fire team in such a long time. I feel like it's been one to two months that my classes were pretty much fixed and just utilized from then. So this should be quite fun to utilize though. We'll find out, we'll find out. So instantly with this class, I'm trying to mud up, but since my specialization, I don't need to mud up. I get mudded up straight away, so I don't have to do it. As you see, my sensitivity may be a bit slow for this. Let me fix that up. So I'm like, there's no way I can use the smart sensitivity on this. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I can control this. I can control that. So straight away, when you're trying to run to the next objective, hold out your dagger or your knife and utilize that. That'll give you the maximum movement speed in the game as a fighting player. Be able to run through these objectives to get to the location that you need to. You get white markers across the map like that, and you and your team need to stick together at all costs, even though if you lose a couple members, try to stick together as much as possible, and then go for those objectives. This solo play in this, like essentially you can 1v1 a Predator and get the chance to actually kill him through last man standing, which means that all your teams are gone and just yourself against the Predator. 
So that's something to keep in mind. You can do that. There's also a slide function when you're running and actually crouching. So you can slide in this game. And sometimes there is a weird bug in fire team when you can't actually run away. When it creates this weird bug when you actually can't run because you're stuck in perma crouch. So there's AI close by to us. Try and kill with your dagger to make no noise and kill anything that's close by. Not your team members, but anything that's close by that could potentially activate alarms. When I say potentially, you'll see an icon above their heads when they're about to activate an alarm like this. Kill that one to stop the alarm. There's another one down there with the alarm icon. You can use your guns at this point. It doesn't really matter. But you need to make sure they actually don't and this guy's invisible. Wait, what? How? How are you invisible? Come on, bot. You have one job, not to go invisible. And this is what you do? You go invisible just like that. On the spot. Crazy. That is crazy to see. Plasma casters again aimed towards us by the red outlines from the plasma caster itself on the printer. So we'll watch out for that. Prince is right next to us. Go for some damage here. We can parry this as well. Parry. Parry. Easy. Parry. Get some attacks. Reload this at the same time. Try and dodge this guy's attacks. You can aim into this as well. He's damaged. He's in second wind already. We could chase him down and try to kill him. But I'm going to allow him to actually escape this. If he runs away. If he runs away. I'm not too sure actually. We'll find out. But my sense is he's way better now. From the first part. The guy revives right here. Like super, super close. He's like right there. I see him. I won't kill him yet. But essentially you get the opportunity to actually parry like that. Like we did. There's stuff like this around the map. You should be able to actually pick up. This will give you a refill on your ammo and your gear as well. So you get opportunities to utilize that throughout your matches. Switch back to the knife, keep running through, kill the AIs. Usually what you want to try and do is actually pop off your filterettes after clearing the AIs or finding med stations as well. So you get ammo from there and also gear usage is back. There's also locations where there's med packs. So we're just going to find one over here. Should be kind of close. They're not too far usually. And you find currency like this around the map. They'll give you in-game currency to open field lockers and also give you XP for actually picking that up. So that's nice too. And if you're low level and you try to use different weapons, there are items like this around the map. Item crates. Which will give you a certain weapon that can maybe change your gameplay style and help you out. Since you may not have that weapon unlocked. So there's always opportunities to play down there. Here's some shots at him and he jumped towards the left-hand side. I'm trying to find the location for meds to highlight it to you mates. But it looks like I'm having a hard time finding it. It's usually somewhere close by. There's always one. If there isn't one in a compound, I'll be very, very surprised. Looks like I can't find it. Interesting. <laughs> Let's activate the next part of this mission. Cover me. In a case like this, I'm going to activate my fill threat. Go back over here. Get my gear back. Which will also give me one of my threats back as well. Really nice. Got it. Let's go for the fight. Let's go towards here. Get the reload. But pretty much you can control the game by just doing this. You can stick with your team to make it easier. Is it rushing me? Wait, actually leap there. That's not a good idea. Whoa, is he coughing? <laughs> He's gonna die. So we can just go for this. If he goes for the claim, I'll allow him to actually get that. So he show all the mechanics. <laughs> the guy's reaction is funny. My sensitivity still needs to be changed. Don't look cool with missing a couple of shots. This pistol up close, if we use it. Like, it's so fast. It is so fast. It will laser anything. So keep that in mind. Now it's a 2v1 against the Praetor. So we're at a disadvantage, but we'll get reinforcements soon. We'll come up on the map. There you go. Reinforcements available. And we can actually push this if we want to. And I think that would be the good idea to push it. To actually get our respawns off. But we'll find out. So we go. Nice. Let's go into our actual point here. Let's go for the respawns. We'll still mud it up, so that's really, really good. So essentially, when you mud it up, the Praetor can't actually scan you or can't track you at the best with their target isolation or their heat vision. So keep that in mind. So you get advantages from being mudded up. And with Amphibious, anytime we touch water, essentially we enter the mudded state on our fire team character. Is he right behind me? Heard him close to a piggy. I did hear that. And if you want to not waste your bar usage towards your stamina, you can always actually... Um, go for a final slide as soon as the bar reaches towards that capacity of being empty Just slide and you'll pretty much regain it. So it's pretty good Let's go over down here and respawn to so find resupplies like this Go towards that reinforcements activate it and you'll be able to get a response on your team members You hold the button that allows us to do so but since we enter a new compound There's also AI. So always watch out for this Essentially you need to kill them stealth like okay Make no noise and just stab them. That'll usually help out with that case 
So benefits are there. And you can also go up on certain locations to get even higher than you should. Perhaps utilizing the roofs to your advantage. As you see from here. And now since the predator now knows that we've been reinforced, you should be able to see an icon on the map. He should be close by. If he's not close by, let's just be curious. But I can't see him at the moment from any distance. I think we're completely safe at the moment. I'm pretty much trying to scout. We have seven minutes left. So we can now go back towards the objective. I wonder if the predator knows that he's trying to hold down the objective there. I wonder. He's over here. He's over here. Reload this. Get our shot here. Perfect. Get some shots here. Very, very nice. Back in second wind. He needs to run away. He needs to run away. He's going to die. Where do you go? I've lost him. He's actually behind you. Did we get him? I think we got him. I think we got him. Well, he's actually healing right over here. Close by healing. Right around this corner. I can see him right here. I'm going to give a couple shots. Scare him off. There you go. Nice. <laughs> You're going to help all players out. Even if they're prey to players. You're going to help them out. He's going for the kills. He's pretty much going to die now. That's pretty much death. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. Nice. Got him down. Now we're going to destroy his mask. As quickly as possible. There you go. Nice. Diffuse. And try to find the symbols that match as quickly as possible. If you can't find the symbols that match, then you'll end up taking the cost of actually dying. So you're going to filter through it as quickly as possible. And there you go. Got it. Instantly diffused. As a press play, so we taught you guys how to parry, essentially melee at the same time as it strikes. You get an icon on your screen highlighting so, so that if you do that at the right time, it will parry them. It's pretty much guaranteed win at this point, you just have to protect the body for more XP and currency for the end of the game. So those are the benefits you do gain by doing so. So how much of AIs will spawn? You're pretty much in a clear. Quite easy. For this pistol, I actually love it. It is crazy fast in fire rate. So I always gonna love this pistol. And the grenade setups, you can always use this grenade, use ACIGs, whatever point grenade you need, or items you need. But grenades are always good for explosive damage, as you see. Just great combat potential if your team member is getting pushed, and he's actually getting attacked by the predator. Chuck a couple of nades, use your grenade launcher as well. You get many opportunities to actually damage them. And by hip firing them, you can also crouch to reduce your hip fire accuracy. So we've got that over there. Well, not reduce to increase it by making the hip fire spread a lot more less, or a lot more smaller, see? And to be able to go for shots like this, and get that increased damage output. So it's quite crazy. So Dutch 987 has the hit fire damage stats as a benefit, followed by the perks that we're actually running, action and such. It does have a quite a bit. There we go, easy win. As Dutch, as a fire team player, destroying the Predator with ease. That is what you want. I'm hoping this does help out all new players coming towards the game when it comes to the fire team aspect of the game. Will we be playing fire team that much on our channel? Most likely not. We just want to highlight a one-off video highlighting how to play the game for the tips and tricks due to the high demand, the sheer high demand on our live streams and also videos to play Fire Team. Hopefully this fulfills your appetite. <laughs> but mates, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you want to see more Fire Team gameplays? Do you enjoy this Fire Team build that we highlighted for both Isabel and also this character Dutch? You've got two builds that you can utilize in your own gameplays, but tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And as always, mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this, and I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.